name is Carson Benowitz Fredericks. I am the research manager at Alcohol Justice. So this re report is about uh, last call times. Uh, more generally, they're called trading hours, and it re refers to the times of day that you can sell alcohol. Uh, it is a form of limitation on sales that helps keep consumption down and helps control some of the violence and, and drunk driving. By limiting the hours in which alcohol can be sold, you help uh, keep down some of the dangerous driving, the intoxicated driving, the, the violence, and some of the other sort of general, uh, sort of acute behavioral harms of alcohol. It's you know, been well established pretty much across the world. So certainly there is a movement in the United States and really to some degree worldwide to deregulate alcohol, to make alcohol sold everywhere, so at any time to anyone. And these come from this sort of, well, they come from, fundamentally from the idea that people who sell alcohol make money from it and they can make more money if there are less regulations on it. Excuses used to justify this sort of money grab by, by alcohol industry and and uh, people who really benefit financially from alcohol uh, is is that you know there's uh, what's the harm what's what, what can happen and we wanted to look and see well what is the harm what could happen we figured it was it was time that we took all of the research both directly about last call times and more generally about late night sales of alcohol and put it into one place so that regulators policymakers community groups who are interested in the subject and who think that they can make a difference, can come into any argument well informed. Piece of junk that is being passed around the Capitol pretends to show some sort of correlation between hours of drinking and car wrecks. Uh, this is not at all the case. This is much more complicated than just hours of drinking. When car wrecks happen, they happen for dozens of reasons. They happen because of who's driving, the age of the people that are driving, the socioeconomic status of the people that are driving, uh, the kinds of cars they're driving, the alternatives they have to driving, the speed limits in the towns where they are, how people use their cell phones, how people use other things that distract them, other people that are on the road. I could go on and on about all the complicating factors that explain why there are car wrecks and why people are killed uh, by people on alcohol. Uh, this study doesn't show any of that. My name is uh, Ramon Casablanc. I'm a professor emeritus in health education at San Francisco State University. I have been studying public health issues and policy now for uh, the past 20 years. I've taken a look at Senator Weiner's handout that he's been bringing to hearings in support of SB 905, purporting to provide some sort of evidence that there's no harm in extending the hours of sale of liquor on premises and that it would not endanger drivers or in any other way create harm. His uh, report is completely fallacious, useless, deceptive. It does not in any way reflect any kind of serious science. It, it's a, a very poor piece of work. If I was a professor grading this, I would give it an incomplete, not even an F. It doesn't even go far enough there. So he claims that there's a connection between the rate of auto wrecks involving drunks and their fatalities in a state and those states' laws about how late the bars stay open. There's no clear connection whatsoever except what the science shows, which is just the opposite. And there is real science that's been done on this. We don't really need to rely on handouts from senators who don't know how to do statistics to tell us what's going on with extended hours of drinking and the dangers to the public. The Centers for Disease Control years ago did a, a thorough, complete investigation of the connections of extended hours of uh, drinking in bars and alcohol-related deaths on the road and found that there's definitely a connection. And the short answer is the more hours people can drink in bars late at night, the more people are going to be killed on the highways. Kids, not precious. Kids, not precious. Kids, not precious. Kids, not precious. Hi, I'm Bruce Lee Livingston. I'm the executive director of Alcohol Justice. We are releasing a report with California Alcohol Policy Alliance that outlines the severe problems we will have if we extend bar hours in California from 2 a.m. to 4 a.m. There have been numerous threats through SB 905 to extend bar hours. It will increase DUIs on the highway. 
It will increase traffic collisions, flee and commute hours at seven or eight in the morning. There will be increased street violence and use of emergency rooms. Police will have to work overtime, California Highway Patrol, the Alcoholic Beverage Control Agency. Our report goes through 40 years of science, international studies, peer-reviewed studies that show this is harmful. And we would like you to take a look at our report. It's available, alcoholjustice.org. Please take a stand against this bill. No bars at 4 a.m. No bars at 4 a.m.